SOLIDWORKS 2022 has lots of new features for all SOLIDWORKS users. Let's take a look at some of the new capabilities right now. Designers demand the ability to create manufacturable products using an ever-increasing variety of file formats. SOLIDWORKS 2022 makes this easier than ever with new enhancements for mesh BREP formats and tools that help you view and edit critical product information. This ball valve, equipped with a lockout tagout feature, is perfect for this control panel, but the handle is too plain to be incorporated into a luxury product like the Nemo. The supplier provide their files in mesh BREP format. In SOLIDWORKS 2022, working with these files is just like working with native geometry, thanks to the new hybrid modeling capabilities. Creating features like chamfers, extrudes, reference planes, and more no longer require intermediate bodies or Boolean operations. This handle needs a slot for the lock. Now in 2022, whole wizard slot length can be defined by arc tangents or centers, and when positioning the slot, the tab key toggles between the vertical and horizontal orientation. Manufacturing this handle will require a draft. Bidirectional parting line draft would be the most appealing. In 2022, you can now create draft in both directions when using a parting line, rather than having to create two separate draft features. This mesh contains three different bodies, but the manufacturer needs access to the individual components. New in SOLIDWORKS 2022, Pack and Go recognizes the references created using save bodies with a split part command. This way you can choose which files you need without having to find them manually in Windows Explorer. Section views are a great way to inspect components, but sometimes a pseudo plane doesn't exist. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2022, you can specify a section view from any cylindrical face, conical face, or axis. These 22 millimeter cut threads are useful for rapid prototyping, but it's too much detail for a regular high volume manufacturing and they make the file large and complex. The new stud wizard is a great choice here as it automatically recognizes the diameter of the boss, but still provides a list of different thread sizes and pitches to use. You can even create an undercut with full control over the dimensions. In SOLIDWORKS 2022, configuration specific properties have been separated into two tabs, configuration properties and the property summary. In the first tab, property information is added just like you'd expect, but now you can choose which configuration they're applied to using the dropdown. The property summary tab provides a useful way to compare configurations based on a custom property. Designers sometimes have no choice of the files they receive from a supplier, but they still need to support the design through to several different manufacturing methods. SOLIDWORKS 2022 provides the tools you need to get the job done fast and efficiently while providing improved visibility to critical product information. SOLIDWORKS makes it easy to create frames and structures with structure systems. 2022 is no exception with enhancements to secondary members, the introduction of connection elements, and more. Secondary members are defined using existing structural bodies. This vertical post will be carrying a heavy compressive and bending load, so we'll need some extra support. Creating multiple secondary members is fast in SOLIDWORKS 2022, now that you can select a point and multiple bodies. All corner treatments are just as intuitive to define as they have been in the past, giving you full control over the end result. Also new to SOLIDWORKS this year is the ability to define or insert connection elements. These are great for members that are designed to be bolted together rather than welded. These legs require a base plate so the cradle can be attached to the floor. Just select the member and the plate is automatically centered at the end. If a connection element doesn't meet your design needs, it can be adjusted on the fly. These forklift lifting channels may need to be replaced if damaged, so a connection element is perfect for this situation. To find the position of the connection element is easy. Simply select the faces of the members and use the convenient member planes which reveal themselves automatically to center the element. The connection element is smart and it can cut predefined holes in the members you select. Gussets and end caps are now supported for structural members in SOLIDWORKS 2022 and are just as easy to define as before. 
Mirroring features and components in any situation is very commonly used function. Now in SOLIDWORKS 2022, you can mirror across two planes or faces at the same time. No longer will operations like this require two separate mirror features. SOLIDWORKS introduced the ability to create an edge flange on the circular edge of a non-planar base in SOLIDWORKS 2021. This has been improved to allow you to edit the flange profile directly inside the property manager so you can specify the exact flange length you want. So there you have it. And those are just some of the new capabilities waiting for you in SOLIDWORKS 2022. To learn more, contact GSC today.